guys, my name is Sasha, best videos ever said it is, and this week's video we're gonna learn how to ruin a perfect phone case. Let's get on with the video. For this design you will need some material, some wool, scissors, a pen, a phone case, and um, any glue. I used a hot glue gun, but I do not recommend it since I'm, I'm not a fan of hot glue guns, basically. So first you should trace around your phone case, but leave about one centimeter f away from each side so it's a bit more spacious. This step is not necessary, um, but since the front camera will not be working with this phone case, I decided to cover it with some felt. After you have cut out both the pillow and the blanket, start sticking it on the phone case, but stick it from the inside, it's gonna look so much neater. And just work your way through, but before sticking the last side on, add the wool in, and then only stick it back to make it secure. Do the exact same thing for the blanket um, and add the wool, but I didn't stick the top on just in case, I don't know, maybe sometimes you can even like add your headphones in it and it's like a pocket. It's really cool. For this case, you will need um, a normal phone case, some felt, scissors, some material, and wool. Cut out your material and start sticking it in the same way you would do for the last phone case that I showed you, basically from the inside to make it more neat. And before you stick the last side on, add the wool in and then secure it. Now for this phone case you will need a buck phone case, meaning that it kind of opens. Then you will need some glue. Here you can see I changed my mind because not a fan of hot glue guns. Then I got some felt and some wool and also material. This one will be a bit harder to do since it closes so you need to cut out more material than you would do for the last two cases. And um, so just start sticking it on the edges and work your way through and then before securing it, add the wool in. <laughs> Uh, for it, you will need, well, any case, I guess, just like, you will need a needle and a thread, and you will need some wool. Oh yeah, and you will need some material! For this one, you will need to cut out double of the size of your iPad or phone, I use my iPad in this case, and you will need two of, two of the materials, but one of them has to be a bit bigger, um, because you have to sew around it. So first take the smaller one and start just sewing in every single edge apart from the top because that's where you will insert your iPad, duh. And then I decided to turn it inside out to make it neater, but then I realized it's gonna be on the inside, but yeah, okay. After that, take your big material bit and st and start sewing it onto the small sock, but um, um, I recommend sewing it on the side because it's gonna be like so much better. After you've done that, Turn the thing you just sewed on around the phone case. It's confusing, but just follow the steps. And then sew it on there as well, so you will kind of have a double layer. Now you should start sewing the bottom on, so there is only one end to put it through. Now you should add the wool in and um, I recommend adding more wool at one side and then less on the other side so it's a bit smaller, but it's obviously your choice. And now your case is nearly done, but you just have to close in the top bit and just sew around that and you're done. But I decided to add some pom-poms on it and it looks cute. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the outro is going to be in 3, 2, 1. But I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. You just know